everyone today we'll talk about the d7 power supply issue we have d7 hash board and we have a power supply in this hash board not good not working when i'm talking about the power supply i'm talking about this part just from here to here this one is the power supply issue so not everything is related to the chip sometimes we have a power supply issue and this board is a power supply issue after i tested here for after the uh, amos which is a uh, uh, mosfet i don't have the voltage here which is it should be 13 volts okay i don't have the voltage here so direct i test here and i found the chip is damaged which chip i'm talking about the pack converter chip this one you see you can see also it's a damage there is a sign of the damage it's like explosion so what we need to do and 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 for sure when this pack converter is damaged the whole system here we need to test it also okay diode and the transistor some of the transistor it will be changed so the first we will change the this one the pack converter okay and i have the chip the same chip i have here in solder we need to be uh, careful because uh, we have the, the capacitor here and it should be not melted because it's like a plastic so we put 100 with a little bit of flux you can use the microscope for sure I don't know if you can see or see So we will change the pack converter chip, okay? But for sure, before we put any new or uh, any 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 voltage, 13 volts, before we put, we need to test. As I mentioned, uh, as I mentioned, if any damage here, it will detect or it will affect the whole circuit not working. So I need to test under board also. After I remove this one. Okay, is this one?
So after I remove this one, no need to more testing. That's mean the voltage is stopped here. The high voltage is stopped here and it's damaged this part. So it's not passed, the, the voltage is not passed to another component. So I need to change this one. I will remove and I test. So what we have here, we have bad issue, <laughs> we have pads, this is the pads, it's gone, we can install one, two, here it's gone. So this part is done, okay. But I know this part it connect direct to here. Let me check the multimeter. <clears throat> now we have another issue. This issue is a bad gun, okay? This part, this part is gone. So what I need to do, okay? I will check here if any connect con continuity between this one and this one. I need to remove this one of that. You can see more now. Okay, let's clean here. Let's... Okay, totally damaged. But no worries, we can still install the this chip here. You see, I can remove this one. Just remove the glue. To check. Okay, so this one is continuity between this. So there is a continuity between this one and this one. No worry, we can put a wire or Okay, now this one is no issue, we can change. Now let's test the diode. I care about the D113, or sorry, D13 and D12. If this one is any one of the damage, so then the, the, the voltage pass to all power supply. Put diode mode. It should indicate.
it should indicate 0 0.199. It's good, perfect. 0 0.191, okay. <clears throat> perfect. Perfect. So, no issue. So, just this is a fast video. If we need to check the, uh, to change the, the file converter, we need to also double visual field. So, if, because if I put this one, <clears throat> if I install back this one, and I didn't check here, it will damage again. Which one? The new chip. I'm talking about this one. Its name, I'm, ESD25, okay? Here I don't have the... All the fats here is good, I think. Yeah, this one. What is this? We can put the solder on this one to remove. I cannot see. Okay, this one is not a bad problem. When we need to install, we can check here where the dots. Here we have a dot. See here, we have a dot. See this one? This one is a dot. The sign of the dots here, so we can install like this. <clears throat> 